In this video, we will discuss about the clause 4 of ISO 27001. Clause 4 is about the context of the organization. It has total 4 sub clauses. Clause 4.1 is about understanding the organization and its context. This clause requires the organization to determine all the internal and external issues that may be relevant to its business purpose. It must be noted here, issues can be defined as factor that can impact the information security management system. Example of internal factor can be organization's policies and processes, whereas example of external factor can be market competition. Clause 4.2 is about understanding the needs and expectations of the interested parties. Clause 4.2 requires the organization to determine the interested parties and to determine their needs and expectations. Requirement of the interested parties may include legal and regulatory requirements and contractual obligations. Now let us discuss about clause 4.3. Clause 4.3 is about determining the scope of information security management system. Scope is basically based on three factors. One, internal and external issues as identified in clause 4.1. Second, Requirements of the interested parties as identified in clause 4.2 and third point dependency on other organizations. So from these three points scope of the information security management system is finalized. The scope should be made available as documented information. Please note whenever what cell is there in the standard it means it is mandatory. Now let us discuss about clause 4.4, establishing and improving ISMS. Clause 4.4 requires that the organization shall establish, implement, maintain and continually improve information security management system. Let us understand clause 4.1 with a practical example. In real world, you will find issues identified as follow. So most of the organization will identify their internal context as organizational structure, roles and responsibilities, policies and procedures and so on. From external context point of view, they will identify political environment, legal and regulatory requirements, market competition and so on. If organization has done this, then it indicates that it has complied with the requirement of clause 4.1. Let us now discuss clause 4.2 with a practical example. Generally for ISMS, interested parties and their requirements will be as follow. Most of the organization will identify their interested parties as regulators, executive boards, senior management, employees, customers and business partner. So if organization has done this, then it indicates that it has complied with the requirement of clause 4.2. Let us now discuss some important key aspect of clause 4. First question, what is the requirement of clause 4.1? Clause 4.1 requires identification of internal and external factors impacting information security management system.
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ क्लोज फोर पॉइंट टू क्लोज फोर पॉइंट टू रिक्वायर्स आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ इंटरेस्टेड पार्टीज एंड आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ नीड्स एंड रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द इंटरेस्टेड पार्टीज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट आर द बेसिस फॉर डिटरमाइनिंग द स्कोप ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम स्कोप इज जनरली डिराइव फ्रॉम इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स इंपेक्टिंग द आई एस एम एस ऑल्सो नीड्स एंड द एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ द इंटरेस्टेड पार्टीज एंड द डिपेंडेंसीज ऑन द अदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज कंसिडर्ड वाइल डिराइविंग दिस स्कोप थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग